Good morning everybody, Dave here with Nelson Creek Farms. We are living in a winter wonderland this morning. Yes we are, and yes indeedy, those are icicles. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dave with Nelson Creek Farms. Coming to you from a very frosty 28th of November 2023. It is a nice cold Tuesday. In fact, let me get the vehicle started and I'll show you what I mean by frigid. Oh joy, ice on all the windows, oh boy. Oh, that poor little thing's a little bit cold. Yeah, there's the uh, current temperature outside, folks. Uh, 12 degrees, and it's going to be sunny pretty much all day. But if you come down here, we're looking at another snowstorm coming in Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday. It's going to be very windy and the possibility of rain. But you can see the daytime temps there, the highs on the left, and the lows on the right. Yeah, what, 13 degrees tonight, or no, 12 tonight, 13, 22, 24. Yeah, those are the overnight lows, and we're gonna be another couple of days before our daytime high gets above freezing. The thing that's real annoying about having frozen up windows and cold temperatures, is I have a friend over at RV Fools, so if you can, check out that uh, YouTube channel. Well, Jim and I used to work together at the in-town job, and he's sitting down in Yuma, Arizona right now, and just probably rocking back and forth in his chair, laughing his silly butt off at me for freezing to death while he's enjoying a nice 70-degree morning. Yeah, so anyway, shout out to Jim and Barb. Hey, how you guys doing? Watched them at some little deal they called the Howling at the Moon thing last night on their channel. Yeah, don't know much about what was going on, but there's a bunch of old people making a lot of noise. Anyway, we're going to get on with today's project as soon as I get done uh, going to town. So, yeah, we're going to thaw out these windows and get to rolling. Say, did you all hear about the latest, newest, greatest thing in small farming and garden plots and that sort of thing? Yeah, it's called a shovel. It's groundbreaking. <laughs> so what am I going to be doing today? Well, today we're going to try to get the Super M here and the old Farmall H into the barn for the winter. Um, I'm not worried about their antifreeze coolant and that sort of thing. So I know they're okay there. It's just getting them to start to get them to move. Yeah, that's going to be the problem. I already knew the battery on the old H was a little bit weak because it was having a hard time starting even this summer. So I've got it on a battery charger. I don't know that you can even read that needle in there because that wind is all fogged over, but it's taking a charge. So we'll let the old H sit out here for a while on the charger an hour or so and uh, then we'll come out, clean off the seats because they still have six, seven inches of snow on them that hasn't blown off yet. And uh, we'll try to get the two old girls in the barn for the winter. Yeah. I went over to uh, TNT in the neighboring town, the TNT Cafe, had breakfast and uh, thought maybe it'd warm up a bit by the time I got back here to put the charger on these tractors and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we're up to 14 degrees above zero Fahrenheit right now. And the breeze has picked up. It's starting to drift a little bit. Uh, there's a lot of frosty type snow on top of the snow that's here. Yeah, uh, flaky kind of stuff. And it's starting to drift because we've picked up a breeze today and that just makes it bitterly cold with even a two mile an hour breeze here in the state of Idaho. Uh, when you're at 12 degrees, 14 degrees, you're at minus something, I'm sure. So yeah, that's just bitter cold today. But we're going to try to get the old girl started and get them in the shed anyway. But for now, I'm going to go in, throw some pellets in the stove, and try to get warmed up. So, Farmer Dave, how cold is it? It is so cold, even a lot of the needles off the pine trees have gone south for the winter. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, a lot of needles have disappeared for the winter. 
Well, I don't know that you can see me or not, but it's been several hours now that the old H has been on a battery charger. And the first one that needs to get moved is the uh, Super M here. So let's see if we can't get it to fire up and start. Get the fuel turned on. Now with this one having a brand new battery in it, it should start fairly easily, I would hope. Oh, shoot, the ignition switch is froze. I can't pull it out or in. These tractors are, oh, there it goes. They're just a simple on off push pull switch. Okay, so now the ignition's on, let's give her a try. Come on, girl. Need a little more throttle here. Maybe that'll help. Come on. Oh. I guess we're going to leave the choke on it about two-thirds way on just to get her to start and run. Yeah, that's how cold it is. Well, the Super M's sort of running. Let's see if we can get the old H to start. Turn on the gas. It's on. Go around here and check a few things and give her a try. Yes, I know you're supposed to be sitting on them when you start them. I ain't sitting on that seat just yet. Okay. We'll choke, pull that switch on, and see if it works. Yep. Hey, how about that? The old H lit right up. <laughs> I just love a good hot magneto ignition. So we'll let the old girl sit here and warm up a bit while I go open up the barn doors and then we'll put them inside for the winter. A good many of you might recall the fact that the Super M doesn't fit in the barn with the exhaust on it. And it's run long enough now. That pipe's getting a little bit hot. I gotta take that muffler off to get it in. The barn. Come on, baby. There we go. Ready or not, here we come. definitely need a taller shed to put this beast in. Yeah. Okay. That's as far as I'm going with it. I'm going to leave it here idling until I get the exhaust muffler put back on it.
Okay. Let's see if we can't back this one in. Yep. Too close to that motor right there. Oh, come on. There you go. Now, I want to put this one over here as close as I can. Yep. the freak chance okay we gotta slow her down a little bit that clutch is all sticky now from sitting Oop. but the idea is, is if I can get this thing twisted around enough in here to get the tire side by side I may have enough room to get the uh, Alice B stuffed in here. Oh, this one I want to run until she quits. She runs out of gas. Yep. So. Yeah, no easy way of getting down out of here. So if I fall down, you guys can laugh. Frick. parking them tractors I slipped and fell off of them on the ice that was on them yeah I've broken my arm in two places so I called the doctor and told him doctor doctor I've broken my arm in two places he said don't do that again stay away from those two places <laughs> no I'm actually okay yeah yeah I don't know I might have enough room to put that little Alice B in here out of the weather too oh oh there she goes Oh, done for the season. While I was in the barn today, I came across an Alice Chalmers uh, generator. And it turns over, but I think it's going to need to be rebuilt. And uh, I'm not a huge fan of the cutout, but there's a reason why they put that on there. It's because the voltage regulator was actually in the light switch. So I can make the Alice B a 6-volt system again. Now that the two farm malls are in the barn, let's go see if we can get that little Alice Chalmers B started and maybe wedge it in there uh, between the doors here on the end of the barn and the farm mall H. Okay, well we're moving. I think the transmission may be full ice. So yeah, we're gonna go get it in the shed. If I can get it in the shed, I may not be able to get the uh, arms up high enough to clear that threshold in the doorway there. The bee won't idle down any slower than that for whatever reason. I think the linkage is out of whack. But we got all three of the tractors in the barn now, so that's a good thing. I've shut off the fuel on this B, but I don't think it's running out of gas. 
anytime soon. So anyway, we got all of them in here. Yay! And they fit. They are uh, shoehorned in here. Yeah, oh, there she goes, finally. Okay, we'll kill the ignition switch here. Yeah. Anyway, they are all in here. There's Super M sitting up there. I've got its muffler back on it. And the H, and now the B. So I got all the three running tractors, or four, in here, including the D14 that's sitting there. We need to work on it. If we look, there's still a John Deere B sitting back there. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, we got one, two, three, four, five tractors in here, and if it was rearranged a little differently over there and in here, I could probably have two more in here. Oh, this door is just about ready to fall right off the side of this barn. They both are. They're going to need some massive repair work this spring and summer. Yeah, they are. But for now, they're here and they're holding the end of the barn together. So anyway, yeah, uh, got the tractors in. Fuel shut off. I'll come out later, pull the batteries out of them on a day when it isn't so dang cold, and uh, take the batteries in the house, set them down in the basement. They'll be cool down there, but not freezing. So, yeah, anyway, <laughs> it's all in here now, except for Stinky and the Blue LS and a couple of the others that aren't running. And I don't want to stuff anything in the shop. Uh, I know I said we were going to work on the Alice Chalmers, the little bee this winter. I don't want to stick anything in the shop just yet that's a tractor that's going to take a while to work on. Uh, we'll work on a few other smaller projects in the shop in the meantime, just getting equipment ready for next year. Well, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Appreciate all of you for following along this old guy trying to make a farm come back to life again. Uh, we were going to do it in 2023, but unfortunately a series of events postponed all that and actually shut some of that down so hopefully knock on some wood 2024 will be a better year and we can make something happen here at the farm so yeah we're going to be working on a lot of uh, little bits and pieces in the shop this winter and uh, then early in the spring we'll get to working on a few of these things and uh, yeah who knows what we're going to end up with plus i'm going to get you folks more involved in some of the day-to-day -day activities or projects that we're going to do here at the farm so anyway Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you to the new subscribers who have subscribed. And if you haven't yet, right down there, that great big red thing down there in the bottom corner there, click on that if you would. Click on the little bell. Click on all so you can get notified every time there's a new video out. And, uh, yeah, be kind and courteous to your neighbors, and we'll catch up with you later. As always, I'm Farmer Dave, wishing you well. Bye-bye for now.